Hello everybody. I'm making this video specifically for people and their families who are suffering from symptoms suspected to be that of COVID. Now a number of you in the last few weeks have had fever, cough, um, you know, body pains. A number of you have not had severe enough symptoms to go to a doctor or get tested. Now, in these current circumstances, I have to say that any such symptom of cough, fever, breathlessness, or um, body pains, or in fact loss of smell, or even a headache followed by fever should be considered as a symptom of COVID. Having said that, I am making this video specifically to tell you not to be alarmed. COVID is not HIV, it's not AIDS, neither is it cancer. A number of people are getting into a panic mode and getting so worried that they're getting breathless just because they're worrying about it so much. COVID is like any other flu or cold. It will, in a majority of cases, subside in a few days time on its own with or without treatment. In fact, 50% of people won't even know that they have had it, okay? So please do not panic. Please do not stigmatize the other person and say that you have got COVID or somebody else has got COVID and abandon them. Definitely, isolation is a must if you have any of these symptoms and isolation for 14 days, not just isolation till your symptoms subside. You should also be isolated from your family, of course, and certainly, even though it may go away in four to five days, please do wear a face mask and follow social distancing. The reason for this is that in some cases it can become very severe needing hospitalization and sometimes lead to death. Now, what are these symptoms that you need to look out for? The symptoms that um, suggest severity in COVID are severe fever, not controlled with usual uh, fever tablets like paracetamol, breathlessness, pain in the chest can sometimes be a sign of severity or fever lasting for more than six to seven days. These are the signs you need to look out for. One great investment I would suggest in these times is a pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeter is a small clip that you can put to your finger that can measure your blood oxygen levels. Okay. So if you have symptoms suggestive of COVID, please have one at home for your friends and family. Check your blood oxygen levels twice a day. If they drop to less than 95, that suggests that you would need a doctor's attention. Okay. However, if you are aged over, six, over 50 years or have comorbidities, meaning other diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, or any other disease for which you're taking regular medications for, the risk of severe symptoms from COVID can be quite high. And therefore, all such people should definitely seek medical advice. Not all such people uh, need admission. In fact, a majority of even such cases are getting symptoms only for a few days and they are resolving without these such without such people seeking medical help however this can be potentially dangerous and if you are in this age group or have a family member in this age group with these um, you know other diseases that can potentially make uh, potentially cause complications please seek medical help A number of people, what, what they're doing nowadays, especially VIPs, are booking beds in the hospitals that are necessary for people who have severe symptoms. So therefore, beds are lying empty and people who are needing a bed or needing to say that doctor are not getting the beds. This is a major crisis now. Secondly, if you have mild symptoms and you go to the hospital, you're putting the doctor who's looking after you at risk. So nowadays, the protocol is that people with mild or asymptomatic cases are suggested that uh, are advised to stay at home at, on home quarantine and seek medical help 
in case their symptoms become severe and I've already elaborated the symptoms that suggest severity. Okay, so please do not panic. You should respect COVID. You should have a healthy respect for COVID, but you should not die from the panic itself. It's like when you, how you deal with a snake. You need to know how to deal with a snake, but if you look at a snake that is a mile away and then have a panic attack and die from it, it's a totally pointless. Okay, so you need to know what to do. Be calm. COVID will affect each and every one of us. It will. In the next two to three months, it will. That is the nature of the disease. However, in most cases, it will be mild. Please just know what are the severe symptoms. Right. So what about a vaccine for COVID? A lot of talk and hype has been there that a vaccine would come in August, in September, or it won't come for two years. Please remember one thing. Even without a vaccine, 85% of us have got the immune capacity to fight the virus. And that is why most of us are asymptomatic or only mildly symptomatic. Even of those who are symptomatic and dying from the disease, the majority of people are dying due to the so-called cytokine storm which is actually caused by an excess immune response. It is not due to a lack of immune response. It is due to an excess immune response. So what we need to think is, is a future vaccine going to really prevent an excessive immune response? We have the immune response. Even people who have moderate to severe disease are having an immune response. Okay. So is a vaccine really going to help or do we actually need the vaccine? What we need is probably just more effective treatment for it. Uh, we need to recognize the signs that um, predict a cytokine storm, predict severity and ways to institute early treatment to prevent the complications of COVID. What is very, very reassuring is even without a vaccine, the majority of us have got the immune capacity to fight the virus. Thank you.